good and evil in their view. It's a class and between part, good and evil. And in a certain sense, if you take all these fundamentalist things, everybody's thinking they've got God. God is on our side. And they've got that kind of a godly Howard, kind of thing that gives that Howard. orthodox thing such a uh, such pr- uh, uh, pressure. And that, that r- Christian Zionist, that's the major support, if I, if I may, of, of Mr. Bush and the neocons yeah, in this he's country. He's one of them himself. He's he one himself. A born again Christian uh, and of this ill the neocons. 39. Yes. We, uh, we, uh, to bring it back into uh, geopolitical could, realities. Though, but this thing is right. This is, uh, this is the situation that Howard, is there. Howard, many people believe, I'm one and I think you probably are too, many people believe that those people who believe that they have, have the, the word truth. of God, yeah. the word of God in mm-hmm. what they're doing. Mm-hmm. There is at least a potential danger there. Oh, yeah. And the potential danger is often a realistic danger. Oh. I have an Isra- a yeah. very good Israeli yeah. friend, for mm-hmm. example, yeah. who is one of the top Israeli academics mm-hmm. who happens to be an avowed atheist. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a proud Israeli Jew. He's mm-hmm. an avowed atheist. He always says to me and to others in a half-joking manner, mm-hmm. but it's only half a joke. Yeah, right. He said, there's only one prayer that I ever utter. Mm. Now, he doesn't believe in God, mm-hmm. but he said, my prayer is, please, God, save me from the religion. <laughs> right. Well, all right. All right. All so, right. I all mean, right. that rather... All right. Oh, oh, and then, can you take it over, can you take that over the religion? Any uh, fundamentalist, I mean, uh, can you take it over into the idea of a fundamentalist notion of things like we have, maybe it's getting political and so forth, but some of these people, these neocon people that are doing, they have a fundamentalist. No, Francis Fukuyama wrote a book. You're a historian. He wrote a book. He said, the end of history. History is over. It's all settled. Everything's done. We've got a fundamentalist. I don't know if it's Friedman, an economic notion. we got a pattern that we're going to put upon the world. Is there an element similar to that speaking to a higher authority that is these in a geopolitical, realistic terms, in terms of economic policy, what's going to be done. And we've got an army over there in Iraq pursuing that kind of a view of the world so that these two things maybe blend. Uh, or are, are, are there there's is a fundamentalism that isn't based upon religion, but it is a fundamentalist notion of absolute truth held by someone, God mit uns, they sit on the German belts in the, God in the is war. With us. That's yeah, that sort of thing. But do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, we have uh, certainly there is uh, certainly that kind of combination exists we know that in this administration for example Mm -hmm. we have those who are of this very religious christian zionist ilk we have others who are not religious in that sense but still fit in to this category that you term it's a little too ambiguous for me but of of Mm neocons neoconservatives Uh, they may not be religious, but they fit in in many ways, and so we do have that. We do have that kind of combination. But let me point out, let me point out mm-hmm. that in terms of these Christian Zionists who have indeed exerted mm-hmm. a tremendous amount of political influence in this country since 1980, major. They force. have mm-hmm. not. They mm-hmm. they their influence has not been limited solely to the Republican Party. No, no, no. It also is an influence that, wa- that was extended into and was significant in Democratic parties and Democratic administrations. Just like in perhaps Israel's Likud and right. Labor. That's right. Uh, perhaps same not, kind to, of thing perhaps yeah. not quite yeah. to the same yeah. extent. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, it could hardly be to the same extent yeah. as in this Bush administration. Yeah. But still, the influence was there. Yeah, so we live in incredibly interesting times, despite the fact the Chinese warned us against it and so forth. Why don't we only get a couple of few minutes left? Here we are, in, uh, May 14, 13, 19, 2001. What's going to happen in Iraq? We have this great phrase in Yiddish. I usually put it at the yes. end. All you right. know, well, I, the last time we ended an interview, I said, what was the source of anti-Semitism? Yes, you gave you 30 seconds. Yeah. Well, we have a great yeah. phrase in Yiddish, yeah. uh, so I, I'll answer it in two words. I'll do. Gut vase, God, God knows. God knows. Which yeah. ties it. <laughs> that, that makes us a fundamentalist. But, kind of no, but it's a in mess. addition, not yeah. only is it a mess, yeah. that as of this day, yeah. May 13th, yeah. as you they said, just cut off the fellow's head. Yeah. yeah. We certainly cannot say mm-hmm. that we can be optimistic. Uh, I cannot be. I don't see no. it. And you've got this fundamentalist notions coming from all over the place. Yeah. That's bad. We uh-huh. have secularists who are every bit as bad, as you said, as mm. the religious fundamentalists. Uh, we have uh, an administration in the United States that uh, not only 
Uh, it's getting Mr. surreal. Said, that's right. It's getting has surreal. Has not only been misguided, mm. uh, but uh, it's an administration that really didn't know what it was doing. And it has a it fundamentalist faith that is going on. And didn't know what it was doing, mm. and didn't even, uh, let's say, the war happened. Mm. Um, I don't think it should have. No, it did, absolutely. But the war happened. But then, if the war happened, we have an administration that clearly, clearly now, did not have any real concept mm -hmm. of what it would take to try to reconstruct the after me. the war itself. Mm -hmm. And the most damning thing that I can say about the administration is that this administration, right up to the top, President George W. Bush, did not draw upon the expertise that exists in this country mm -hmm about Iraq. Mm. He didn't draw in people who know about Iraq who could have given a great deal of advice mm. and could have filled in a good deal of knowledge mm. about what the culture is and so on. Mm. He didn't do that. Yeah, right. He didn't yeah. do that. Bad intelligence. You got bad intelligence. Very and bad then, intelligence. And then we've and got, a, and a very high, uh, worrying thing, they got this new film out with Robert McNamara uh, saying in the film The Fog of War that we killed four million Southeast Asians with napalm, 58,000 Americans died in Europe for a mistake. We've made a mistake and we have to do it. We we'll run out of time. One of the mistakes, we didn't allot enough time to the program. We we'll run out of time. Harold, Norton, thanks for having me. So you. good to see you. Always. Thanks it's always good. I really appreciate your coming in. It's a great it's pleasure. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure talking. We've got to get together and have a long cup of coffee and talk some of these things in real depth, you know. Uh, oh, you, that's fine. All right. Your pleasure to have had his perception. We might tune in. We'll be coming back again tomorrow uh, with conversations. So please tune in. We'll be coming back then. Norton, thanks again for coming in very much, for participating in this, and for all your work. And congratulations on your newfound university professor status at Cologne. It's well, it's well earned and deserved. Thank you very much. It's so good to see you, you know. So um, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, so I don't know. Last time we did a program, I ended on the last 30 seconds asking, could you give me a 30 second sound bite on the cause of uh, anti-Semitism? <laughs> I remember it was, you know, that wasn't fair. Well, that's right. So but it's a mess. I, th I don't see it. I see, see it as a mess over there. It's terrible. Know? And this idea, we, we're in there, so now we're going to, I did in the cab driver today, I said, we're in there, and now we've made a mistake. And I'm really worried it's going to go the way of Vietnam. Remember, it built up. Oh. I remember Vietnam. It just built up, and they say we got to leave with honor. It could go that and way. Kissinger and Kissinger said, in you five know. years, they're still killing people with it, our napalm right. dropping it's on them. And that—that that was like a Holocaust. I Four know. million people right. were killed for a mistake. That's right. So now they're saying they're going. They made a mistake, and it can just go on. And and you can't come out because there's going to be chaos in the wake of it.